Happy Tech. Uh, I dressed up as a PC builder with my snazzy mechanic shirt. What's going on? Uh, anyway, it's super good to see you guys here. We have an absolutely epic build. Uh, thanks to the fine folks at Seagate Gaming who are sponsoring today's build. Uh, and on top of that, uh, this custom case that CLX provided because they were like, Seagate was like, look, Roby, if we're gonna show off Fire Cuda 530s, then we need to basically have like an epic gaming build to go with it. And I was like, I was, uh, I've been hanging out a lot with uh, the folks at CLX and uh, I was like, you know what? We haven't done any collaboration, but I really loved this dope case that they made uh, for Mod Workshops. And I was like, dude, could we get a case from you guys um, to, uh, to basically do for um, this launch, uh, this, this, this like special build I'm doing for Seagate? And they're like, absolutely. So look, check it out, right? Like they did such a good job. So they've got like, here's the front. So they've got like the ghost helmet on there. And then lastly on the back, you have like the whole, like the whole Call of Duty. That looks so good, right? And then they have CLX at the top, but yeah, huge shout out to them uh, for coming up with this stuff. And it is, it looks so good. And so we're gonna be building this today. No idea what I'm gonna do with it, but it's being built. It's got, and uh, so MSI was like, well, Roby, if you're gonna do something cool with Seagate, what if we uh, threw in like a 4090 and, and, and an MSI motherboard? And I was like, that sounds cool. And then they were like, V1 was like, you know what, Roby? What if we made sure that you had like a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 thing for your cooler? And I was like, that sounds cool. And then I like got custom cables. And then I was like, you know, Thermal Take, you got these really cool uh, fans that are brand new called the Tough Fan 12 RGBs. I was like, can I get 10 of those? So we can put those inside the case because I feel like the green and white on this is gonna look super good too. And they were like, that sounds cool. So I wanna just huge shout out to Seagate for sponsoring this, but also to Thermaltake, MSI, CLX, uh, for all coming through and then V1 Tech for all coming through to make sure that this is going to be an absolutely spectacular build because we're on Halloween. Now, the one thing that I am bummed about, and this is a fail on my part, fail on my part. I was gonna play, I was gonna play zombies, cause I was like, ah, what is a more, like what's a great, like Call of Duty, Halloween, and then come to find out, there's no zombie mode in, Hall in Halloween. I mean, in, sorry, in Modern Warfare 2. So we'll play some campaign for a little bit um, and we'll get, a, yeah, we'll get some night vision green in there and all that sort of stuff. So it should be an absolutely, absolutely awesome build. And I'm actually really excited for how this looks off. And on top of that, so I just want to let you know, Sean from Seagate is watching. Um, and so he is betting that we're going to get knocked on from, uh, from trick or treaters here at the studio being like trick or treat, like right in the middle of the stream. So we'll have to see if that actually happens, but uh, it should be a lot of fun. I'm pretty excited about this. This is going to be a really, really good, but I know, I'm sorry, Cole. I'm, I, I'm actually really good at like, so I just got, I played a ton of COD yesterday. Um, this uh, Modern Warfare, because I was going to get caught up in the story, and I just, I, I finished like eight campaign missions yesterday, um, and so I really want to finish that one before I jump into this one. So I actually played like five hours of Call of Duty yesterday, so I'm, I'm getting up there on the lore, so it's going to be cool. All hailed about, oh yeah, the guy who uh, helped design this, yes, for sure. But yeah, it should be an epic build. Really excited about this. Again, huge shout out to Seagate. We're gonna be showing off their Firecuda 530s. We got a two terabyte NVMe drive for their main, for our game drive, and a one terabyte for our OS drive. And again, some of my favorite just, they're so ridiculous in terms of uh, their endurance and obviously their speed and just how uh, protective they are of your data, which is, you know, why they have a tendency to be premium in price, but they are premium in performance as well. So yeah, my, Mike, thanks. Mike T fishing. Welcome. Okay. So I've got a call of duty dad joke, call of duty dad joke. Now another Robitech dad joke phone out. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. So, and I got this one from call of duty. So if you've watched call, if you've watched the first one here and you may have heard some people play the campaign may have heard this. Okay. Here's the joke. What, what does the CIA do? What does the CIA do when they get sleepy? What does the CIA do when they get sleepy? They go undercover. <laughs> that was so good. Look, it was a Call of Duty dad joke. Come on, that's good. Um, yeah. Hey, Roby, hi, chat at work. Sadly so, can't stick 
around, but wanted to stop by and say, hey, what's up, Blade of Ice? It's good to see you. So yeah, there we go. I don't get it. Okay, well, then Kurosaki doesn't know what the CIA does. Yeah, it was a good one. It was a good one, right? So lame. Nice, Vibu. At least Vibu's honest. <laughs> Oh, sorry. that is part of my day job, Sergeant Nobody. Oh, man. Okay, well, let's talk about the parts that are going in this, but before we do that, let's talk about the giveaways, because we always have giveaways. Uh, first and foremost, uh, just because it's a Seagate thing, so today, we're gonna be giving away a Seagate two terabyte Fire CUDA 530 drive, because you know what, that's just awesome. We gotta make sure we do that. So we'll be giving that away today. The other thing, too, is that I forgot to, uh, we are also going to be giving away, if we get 250 likes all over at YouTube, youtube.com slash Uh then we'll also give away a $25 new egg gift card. Uh, and then lastly, uh, if we get uh, level five hype trains, so we just got to get to level five, uh, we'll do a, if we get to five, we'll give away $25. If we get to level 10, we'll give away $50. If we get to level 15, we give away 75. And if we get to a level uh, 20, we give away a $100 new egg gift card. So that should be absolutely awesome. Lastly, uh, we're starting it, but we are combined the month of October, and November. So if we get a, a, in October, November, if you subscribe, just like we had uh, Vapeop, uh, Vape just subscribe over on Twitch. Uh, if you're subscribed on t Twitch during the month of October and November, you are entered to win an RTX 4080. Shush. You are entered to win an RTX 4080, which we're going to be giving away at the end of, well, at the very beginning of December. So that's the combined sub giveaway uh, for the month of October and November. If you want to get in on that, all you got to use is your free Amazon Prime sub. Just drop your Prime sub and you are automatically entered to win. Uh, if you want to get extra entries, you can subscribe it to your one. That gets you three extra entries. If you subscribe it to your two, that gets you five. If you subscribe it to your three, that gets you ten. Also up for grabs, we're getting really close to it. We have this uh, 1,303 subs over there. Once we get to 2,500 subs, we will also be giving away an amazing PC from Gigabyte, the Gigabyte Stealth, uh, and we'll be giving that PC away, away as well. Now, I was supposed to give a PC away today, but I kind of forgot to advertise it, and with everything else from a paid standpoint, I didn't want to double up, so that move, that giveaway will be moved to Saturday. Uh, so Saturday, you're gonna want to tune in if you want to do that PC giveaway, that'll be happening then. And Hype Train! is started so there we go so let's see can we get a level five hype train at least give away 25 dollars let's get the hype going and then we'll go through the parts and uh, start building this because there's a lot to build today and it should be super epic but we're already at level two so huge shout out to uh evangelist uh blade of ice uh lousy gamer vape op um let's see what else we got and then blade of ice dropped another two for one there uh karma r dub thank you very much for all those subs guys i appreciate it uh, and remember, up for grabs, we're trying to get that PC. Going to put you on the big screen. Dude, that is uh, that is very sweet of you. Thank you very much. Bittersweet, thank you for the sub. Come on, guys, let's get it to level five. Let's at least get there so we can give away $25. I have my birthday in December. Might be a birthday gift. Ooh, maybe, Bebo. Uh, how do you enter the website's hard? There's no entry. Right now, there's nothing to enter. You'll, you'll enter via, the, via YouTube and stuff like later on. See you later, Blade. Thank you very much for the drop. Uh, the drops, man. Huge, huge love. Thank you for all the support. And let's let's keep it going. Let's keep the there we bittersweet dropping five gifted subs, taking us up to level three. That's my man right there. Thank you very much, bittersweet. And we got a hey uh, blondie. Uh, let's plan on Saturday. Saturday we'll write the winners from last week. So we'll do last week and this week on the build mat for this one. So just remind me because we ended up uh, that we ended up having like a quick shutdown. Hey, thank you very much for the love from Bangladesh. And also remind me to uh, promote the PC giveaway for Saturday too. Um, thank you very much. 499 from Ben. What invention allows you to see through walls? Ha <laughs> ha, windows. Thank you very much. That's a good one, Ben. I like that. $5 for a, $5 for a uh, uh, dad joke. I like that. That's, that's a dedicated individual right there. Um, Okay, four minutes and 20 seconds. Can we get to level five? We only gotta go two more levels. We can do it. We just need some, and again, remember, everything's going towards that amazing PC giveaway we got sitting right over here as well. So we can make something awesome. So thank you very much for everybody who's done it up until this point. We still got four minutes left. Let's get the hype going. We can make hype, hype, hype. Hype, hype? I literally messed up building my PC. I got my power supply blast image and being without a few. Ooh, that's brutal. Oh, RGRS968, five gifted subs. Thank you very much, my friend. Dropping us up there even higher. 
I think it takes us up to level four. You guys are rock stars. Thank you very much for the five gifted subs. And remember, every, every gifted sub is an extra entry towards winning the RTX 4080. So, hi, thank you, big, big ball of yarn. I like that name. Okay, we're close. We're close. We can make this happen. You guys are, I really appreciate it. And then we'll start talking about parts, which I'll start putting some stuff out here right now just to get you guys teased so you guys can know we're gonna get to building. We're gonna start with that right there. We've done, a, we've done two AMD builds in a row, so it's time to do a Core i9, 13900K. Hey, Chess Gramer, thank you very much for that. And then we got some rad MSI parts as well, so we'll get it all kind of ready to go in there. I feel, I, feel the, I feel the hype coming on. Four minutes, we just gotta get to level five. We can do it, guys. Oh, nice, BMOC. It's no different, it still runs cooler than a 7950X or a 7900X. Let's be clear. Can't, you can't say furnace edition and not, uh, not also talk about the, the red ones that are hotter. Um, okay. B Nonic, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Oh, just know the tier one sub, that's very awesome. I don't know where they got that, because I mean, you saw mine. Enlarge Quack, thank you very much for the prime sub. Uh, okay, and then I'm gonna get all these parts out. We gotta cool this bad boy. Here's our cooler. Just gonna get all this stuff out and then we'll go through all the stuff together. And to be clear, I don't think, per, I don't think reviewers knew how to review the uh, 7950 because it for sure throttles. Well, it doesn't perform as well because it just hits TJ Maxx. Ugh. So we're just gonna get all the parts out. Guys, 74%, we're close. Okay, we got all the parts on the screen already for you guys when we actually get to the end of this hype train. We just got two minutes, guys. Let's let's finish this last 25%. Jo jo JT Money the Dawn dropping a prime sub, taking us to 87. <laughs> Kurosaki. It should be, yeah, it should be fun. Yeah, the fans are gonna look good, Chazzy. I'm excited to see them. One minute, guys, 87, we're almost there. Let's just cross that finish line. We're so close. Who's gonna take us across the bar? Anonymous Gifter dropping five gifted subs. Bittersweet dropping 200 bits. There we go, now we're at get level five. And let's see, I don't think we'll make it to level 10. Let's just leave it alone. Let's talk through the parts that we have today. I'm gonna do a little front part work today. So for our case, we got the Asus RG, uh, the <laughs> Asus RG, the 011 Dynamic XL. Like, so this is the big boy. Uh, lots of room in this case. Uh, truth be told, if we wanted to go a little higher, uh, we could. Emery, thank you very much for the gift that's up. We could, we could put bigger and better in this, but we're gonna stick with what we got in terms of the build. For storage, like I said, we got a one terabyte Seagate Fire CUDA 530 for the OS, and a two terabyte Seagate Fire CUDA 530 for our game drive. For our RAM, we've got 32 gigs of DDR5 at 5,600 megahertz. Uh, it is black. Unfortunately, we're having issues with our white kit, so we had to switch to black for this one, but I still think it should be fine. For power, we're using an RMX, RM1000X uh, from Corsair. Uh, we've got the replacement uh, uh, 4090 cable, the PCIe 5. This is a 16 gauge, uh, up to 600 watt, 
totally fine cable, so we don't have any of those issues with the WAC uh, NVIDIA cable. For cooling, we're gonna use the uh, Elite Capellix uh, H150i in white. We've got a replacement front cover for that. At the core of ours, we've got the Intel Core i9-13900K, uh, currently the currently the fastest gaming CPU, unless it's a tie. Just depends on what game you do, but for the most part, between it, you can choose whatever you want at this point in time. Between AMD and Intel, choose what makes you happy. They're both just as good as the other one. Uh, we got the MAG MPG Z690 Force Wi-Fi. Uh, we were supposed to use a Z790, it didn't make it in time, so we're gonna be using a Z690, which is fine, because you can just uh, update the BIOS, which has been done. We've got these green, black, and gray uh, extension cables from Formula Mod. We've got the MSI Supreme 4090, so it's a big chungus, should fill it out very nicely. And then brand new from Thermaltake, the Thermaltake Tough Fan 12 RGBs, which has the side RGB, which I actually think is gonna look really good in this. I'm gonna play a little bit with the green and white and see how this ends up turning uh, turning, uh, turning out when we're all said and done. So uh, yeah, no, very excited about this. It should be a really, really cool. Great night, thank you very much for the sub. Guys, we're almost, uh, we're almost there, two minutes. Let's finish this last level five. Because we're at level five, we haven't finished it. We got to finish level five. Two minutes and 30 seconds, guys. Uh, and that is all of our fans and all of our parts. So it should be an epic build. We haven't finished it, guys, yet. We're almost there. But I, I now, when we're done, we can start putting all the parts in because you guys have seen it on. And there it is. I'm actually really excited about this because I like the way this card looks too, which is, is the MSI Supreme 4090. So this should look cool as well. And then I got tomorrow, no stream tomorrow, because I am jumping on a plane on Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, to go hang out with AMD for their launch, which I'm actually really excited about too. And I know BMOC is really excited about that as well. The best of both worlds, Intel motherboard. <laughs> that would be, that'd be kind of weird. Come on guys, last little bit, one minute and 44 seconds. We're just halfway there. We wanna give away this $25 new gift card. We're at level five, we have to finish level five. It's the way it's always been. Gray Knight, lots of people got us close. Okay, right, so first thing I'm gonna do here is just quickly install the, flan the fans because that, like, that always takes the most time. We're just gonna get these quickly installed and get this done. One minute guys. We can do this. Give away, do the giveaway. I want to do it. We can do it. Forty seconds. What are you talking about? I'm wearing a costume right now. Look how amazing it looks. It's called PC Builder. Thirty seconds, guys. We can do this. Come on. We're so close to a giveaway. Twenty-eight seconds. Bittersweet, five gifted subs, 99, 100. Okay, good, boom. Bittersweet basically saved the day. Bittersweet, you're amazing. Thank you very much, my friend, for doing that. And uh, you are a rock star. Okay, there we go. $25 new egg gift card unlocked. They, everybody say GG, Bittersweet. And thank you very much for all of you guys for the gifted subs. Okay, let's get these in quick. I'm actually excited to see how these fans look. Okay, let's get the cables done. Okay, I'm just stripping the case down right now, guys. Nothing, nothing too spooktacular. Mm -hmm. 
Big Poppy Nutty. Thank you very much for the resub. Okay, so we got our back off. Okay. So we're in actually pretty good shape. One of the things I am gonna go ahead and do, just because it makes a lot of sense, is just remove. It's just easier, because I don't care about them. I'm gonna go and remove these drive trays. Because they just, they just take up a lot of space. And it's, it'll be, uh, it will essentially be cable management I don't have to worry about. What it, did, is everybody done with Halloween or is like Halloween are people in progress? Like are people getting trick or treated right now or anything like that? Did anybody dress up today? Level six guys, good job. And we've unlocked that giveaway. They went to the richer neighborhood? Okay, some people, yeah, I, I don't know. How do they know those rules? I'm sure it's in full swing at six o'clock now. So I'm pretty sure people are probably walking around now. Okay, we're just removing all the extra stuff that I don't need from this case. Just saves us some, saves us some room, some time. I mean, who's not gonna complain about, who's gonna complain about saving room and time? There we go. Okay, a bunch of extra screws here. All right, so now we got our case pretty much down to like its base level which makes me happy. So let's take a look at these Kate. Let's take a little look, look at these fans. Cuz these I'm excited about them but I've never used them before. So these are the tough fans from Thermal Take. Now, all of this stuff is installed so when we get done, we should be able to turn this all on and theme it all out and stuff tonight. So we should be good. I'm excited to see how this looks like. The only candy left is candy corn. What is everybody's favorite candy? Mine is saltwater taffy. I like saltwater taffy. Anybody, do we have any saltwater taffy fans in the house? Ooh, those look nice. Look at those guys. Look at those. Look at those fans, huh? Don't those look good? Those should look really sweet in there. Man, th this thing about Thermaltake, man, they love these long cables. Okay. And then we got our giant box thing here. Now, I want to see how these hook up. Yeah, so they use a, and they're proprietary. So how many fans can I hook into this thing? One, two... Three, four, five. I can do five fans per. So that means I, can, I need two of these. There's gonna be some crazy. Uh... There's gonna be some crazy daisy chaining here. They do give you nice uh, cable links at least. Yeah, that's good stuff. Which one is better for gaming, 5800X or the uh, 13700K? Um, I'd have to look at our, to be, I'd have to look at our stuff. For price, the 5800X is pretty, uh, pretty dang inexpensive, but again, if it's just for gaming, so value-wise, you're probably gonna be better off with the 5800X 3D, um, but I think the 13700K actually outperforms it, just slightly.
Okay, guys, we got, look at the, I mean, look at the length of these cables. I mean, they're so long. Okay, so we're gonna do, to make this the prettiest, we'll do intake from the bottom and from the side, and then we'll do exhaust out the top. Dude, this is, this is not gonna. They have their cables like, I guess I, oh, I can just run it this way. That's fine. Okay. installed I think these are gonna look really good I'm excited to use new hardware though I have to say I'm not the largest fan of their <laughs> their thick cables and everything but the result is very good luckily I've got a lot of room in the back here for whatever I need. Okay, one fan in. Fortunately, these aren't like, uh, these aren't like Lee and Lee's in terms of you can just basically put them in and then they're just daisy chain them together and it's done. You gotta, do these all. The old fashioned way. getting fans in. <clears throat> so much fans. Ooh, I think I stripped that pretty hardcore. Wow, good job, whoa. Okay, be careful with that. These like grip like crazy hardcore. Hardcore grippage. Gotta be really careful. These are really soft screws. So you gotta be careful because you can easily strip these screws. Something I'm learning. Aren't those nice looking fans though? They actually look really good in the case off, which I was not anticipating. Honestly, I was not expecting it to be this nice. Okay, only a total of 10 fans to go. So many fans, guys, but we'll get them installed. Whoa. Really excited how this is gonna come out.
I think the right thing would have been like maybe now that I think about it, potentially doing a screen in the back, like a COD logoed screen or something like that. Still gonna look good. Okay. Okay, those are in. You could probably stick this up here, maybe. I don't know. These these are so long. You could like pretty much stick this thing anywhere. You have two of these adapters. I'm looking at these giant adapters here. We have five that we can do in each one. And then you can daisy chain them together. So you have two, you know, just two adapters essentially. Yeah, you can do five in each one. I could do one up here, but the thing is how long is the daisy chain cable? So I think that's the daisy chain cable and this is the regular cable or Oh, this is, this is like, this is the complicated part. Hey, Riddick, thank you for the 20 gifted subs, my man. Thank you very much, my friend. Okay, so B. Set the dip to the back and choose assign a number to the controller. Connect the controller cable into the motherboard. Connect the power cable to the four pin Molex. Yeah. If you want to connect two or more controllers, you can sync the controllers with the bridge connector. Okay, so this is the bridge connector. So this is a pretty, I'm just looking at the back to figure out where I'm gonna stick the bridge and stuff. Put all these away. This is going to be, like the, because these fans are a little bit complicated, just gonna take a little bit of planning on my part. Okay, there we go. Oopsie, oopsie. Everybody say oopsie. Remember when you, when, it used to be a time when the, uh, the tech specialist would uh, have to drink when I said that. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna set that controller to one. Gotta set my dip switch here. Okay, so that'll be number one and the other one will be number two, which is just flipping up the one. And these use Molex, guys. Why? Why would you use Molex is the question. Well, I'll be. Why would they use Molex? Okay. Okay. How you doing, Riddick? It's good to see you, my friend. We actually have room here. Maybe we do it here. Okay, let's go to top down. Figure out where we're gonna put our controller boxes. This is always the fun part, ladies and gentlemen. And by fun part, I mean not fun. Okay, so here's our fans. And one of the things we have here are these gnarly, they're, they're gnarly, they really are. So I've got it set to zero, which is fine. I can get access to this stuff. I could put it here. And I feel like that's probably the safest bet to do it. What did I do with my Velcro? I had Velcro, did I, what did I do with the Velcro? There it is. So if I, if I put them here, this is probably the safest bet because then I can put the, I can do the other, there's a total of what? This will do five and there's 10 fans. So if I do exhaust and then, it's not ideal. And then there's gonna be another three. Okay, so they're just gonna be kind of split between the two.
Okay, let's get this in. Uh, we haven't gotten there yet. We won't do that until I get through it. We have still that we haven't put done the motherboard yet. Don't worry, we'll get it. We haven't done the motherboard yet. I'm just gonna do these fans first. Yeah, you can do the CPU prediction now, that's fine. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do for this one right now because I need to do the next one and it'll probably go into the same group here. And this is all gonna be controlled via USB. And I'll probably put the other one right here. So this will go down and then the other one will be right here. Should be fine. I just want to get if I can get the if I do these as I go this will be way easier thing to do is to do these as you go because if you don't you will basically end up with like just craziness and we don't want craziness okay nobody wants craziness There we go. Okay. Happy Halloween to everybody. Appreciate everybody hanging out today. We do have our we do have our ice flavor of the day. Uh, I figured Call of Duty I should do like a red, white, and blue kind of thing. So I'm gonna do berry lemonade is the one we're doing today. Berry lemonade. <sighs> it's tasty. Okay. Kieran is going to cut these down. Much easier to manage at this size and scale. Okay. Now we do have, it's funny, it's interesting. This actually has two USB stuff things to it. So I think this is actually gonna go on the other side. Okay. 
The good thing is they make this USB so large, the length. GSX, GSRX Therapy, thank you for the resub, 17 months. Okay, so we got that now. Let's go ahead and undo this. This is our Molex power, brutal, yuck. One thing that's nice about this particular style is there we go. There we go. Okay, cool. That's in there. Okay, cool. Now we got power ran, so we're good there, and then we're good. Okay, so there's that set of cables. We got one set of cables done. I mean, how is that not a good thing? Oopsie, come back. Ugh. Now we just gotta do one set of, another set of fans. Now we're gonna do the bottom ones, and once we get the bottom ones in, and we're actually in really good shape from a fan standpoint, because then the rest we'll do with the AIO and all that sort of stuff, so. <coughs> the one thing that is gonna be hard is we're gonna have to set a curve inside of the thermal take. It is bad that the AIO won't be able to control the fan curve, but <coughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'm not going to freak out too much about it. Okay, one set of fans installed. Okay, let's get the other one in. And then we can do the rest of the motherboard and all that sort of stuff. Okay. Okay, so the next set of fans is going to be at the bottom here. So you just remove this. Oops. Next group of fans. Okay. A little bit of a destroyed box here. These are the new uh, Thermal Take Tough, they're called the uh, Tough Fan 12s. This box has seen better days, just so you know. But the cable, the fans look fine. I'm excited to see what these look like lit up. You know what I mean? There's always the way that they're supposed to look on the package and then there's how they actually look lit up. So I hope they look as nice as I hope they do with this build. That's what we want, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so this will be the last.
Okay. These are probably a little bit too torquey for the wow stick. I'll try it here in a minute. Just get these installed for now. There we go. The good thing is, is like the white matches really well with the rest of the case. It looks extra good. What am I supposed to read? I missed something, huh? You guys having fun? You liking the build thus far? We got more to go, but still working through it. $4,500 custom Modern Warfare 2 build. All the bells and whistles. No, I'm not putting them on wrong. They're intake. No, they're exhaust, aren't they? I did exhaust out of the back, didn't I? Yes. So I want these to be intake. No, those are exhaust. I want these to be intake. Yes, these are intake. I'll look at the arrow here in a minute just to make sure I'm not crazy. Yes, these are pulling air in. Good. That's what I wanted. Do do. <clears throat> Good. I'm glad, Cod Show. I missed it, be uh, be honest. I'll look, send it again. I'll, I'll I'll look at it. I'll look for it now. I'm just screwing in fans. What's up, Alan? Hey, nicey. Thank you very much for the sub. No, this PC is not for anyone in particular, just to be awesome looking. Oh, gosh darn it. What's a vampire's a blood vessel? That's nice. I like that one. <laughs> okay, one more. It, it was, but I don't think it would actually work all that well. I want to use a thicker screwdriver, to be honest. Okay. Okay, I need, not that, I don't need this. I just need the power cable. For this, everything else I get it from this other box. There we go. Need that. The rest of this can go back in here. Okay, guys, that's all of the connectivity I need, which is good. This is the stuff, the last bits. We're, we don't need to open these boxes anymore, only to get the screws out. That's it. And actually, we won't actually, we only, we only have one more, one more fan to pull out. Oh, this, this case, this box has definitely seen better days. Let me just say that. Woo. this installed 
Oh, shoot. Sometimes this is like a, the 011 dynamic is like a blessing and a curse at the same time. Like when it's all done, it looks spectacular, but if you're doing 11, you know, 10 fans, it's just a lot of cable management, you know? A lot. And you're just like, okay, that's a little overwhelming. A lot of cables to worry about. Yeah, that's true, Org. This is where uni fans come in really nice because it's only like, you only have like essentially four cables. And the only two is like these, as much as I, I really do appreciate that uh, thermal tape gets you a lot of cable, like on some of these cases, it's like, geez, that's a ton. Okay, now. Okay, time to get this kind of Cable managed here. <sighs> I actually have a ratchet screwdriver. Probably should have used that on this. I think you're right. You should have. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we'll worry about this later because we're gonna put this in after we get our motherboard in and all that stuff. So it's gonna just kind of sit off to the side. Okay, so all our fans are in good shape. Now we can put together our motherboard, guys. All the fun stuff is up. Okay, motherboard time, finally. Okay, so first one, will the socket clear, will the CPU socket clear the AIO? It's Ray, thank you for the prime sub. There's that beautiful case, that beautiful MOBO from MSI. The MSI Force Z690. A little bit of peel there. Nice. A little another peel right here. There we go. Another one right here. There we go. Another one right there. Looks good. Okay, let's get our 13900K installed. What? Oh, there it is. I was like, where is it right there? Oh, there it is. It's right there. go. There's our 13900K.
There we go. Okay, 13900K and ready to go in there. Okay, here we go. Will it clear? Here's the question. Oh, it does it. It clears. It cleared it, guys. Did you see that? That was so good. It cleared it with like ease. Good Morgan. It did it. No, that's the uh, that's the Wi-Fi antennas. There it is, guys. It cleared it. Okay, uh, it is Corsair RAM, so we'll do 95.5 for Corsair RAM. Will it be 95.5 on the clicks? While we're getting that going, let's throw our drives in. It did it, guys. Okay, these are already pre-peeled because the OS and everything is installed on it already. Oh, we didn't peel this one. Ooh, okay. Well, we'll take that off. Prediction is up, guys. There we go. Seagate Fire Cuda 530s. Come on. There we go. There we are. There's that one in. Okay, that's ready and installed. Okay, next one, two terabytes. Predictions almost there, guys. People are saying, is it mostly yes or no's? Okay, the peel's already off on this one. Already pre-installed with COD, it's ready to go. <laughs> there it is. Lots of COD on here already. It is a nice looking board, right, BMOC? I like their force boards, they're nice looking boards. Boom, and, oh, it's on there. Okay, I was like, where's my connector? It's on the thing. Oopsie. Oopsie. There we go. Okay. Installed, installed, looks good. Okay, takes care of that. Okay, RAM click time, guys. Pre-installed with Cinebench. Uh, no, Cinebench is easy. I don't know how, like, if I was gonna, like, I, I mean, I don't actually know how well these fans perform. Guess we can find out. We could do Cinebench for sure. Okay, clicks are in. You guys can see that pretty well. Let's pause the music. Okay, get our RAM out. K 
Can it run Crisis? Nothing can run Crisis, dude. Crisis can't even run Crisis. Yeah, it already has an updated BIOS for 13th gen, yes. I've already benched this. It's got the, some of the RGBs already set. It's got Call of Duty already installed on it. Um, we can install Cinebench and take a look at Ada64 and Cinebench for sure. Just for fun, funsies. Okay, here we go. First click, guys. 95.5. 97.4. That is the jam, baby. 97.4. It crushed it. That was like no problem. It said, what was that? 95.5. How about 97.4? Boom. That was like no problem whatsoever. That is like easy points for some people. It laughs at 95. That's right. It laughs at 95. Okay. So that is done. Let's just grab our, let's grab our plate for LG 1700. Get that mounted. Okay. It's twenty one. Five X twenty one. Okay, I need to go grab. This does not seem to have an one a seventeen hundred. I'll be right back, guys. I'm just gonna grab the seventeen hundred connector. Okay, got the 1700. This is why it's always good to have extra brackets. Let's go ahead and just peel this. go. Sub Hunter, thank you very much. Justin Jam, also thank you for the sub. There we go. I need, there it is, LG 1700. Zooty.
Have you ever used Thermo Siphon? I have not. We are in the middle of the last of our air cool tester. The AK400 is the last thing we're testing in terms of our, our, our coolers. So we're gonna have all that data, that video will be out this week. I know a lot of people were looking forward to that data, but we had to get an AK400 to test it too. Okay. Okay, so there we go. Motherboard, just need to do some thermal paste application. Let's throw that in here. And then we can put this in the MOBO in the, in the case. There we go. Cover this 13900K all the way. There we go. Nice clean implementation of thermal paste. Okay, clean off our spatula really well. It's been abused a lot. Okay. Request to hydrate, will do. Everybody wants to see me drink that ice. Here we go. Uh, what I, what rec, what CPU would you recommend with 1600 XT? Um, to be honest, uh, you could do a 5800X 3D. You could do a 13700K, 12700K. Um, you could do a 13, uh, sorry, uh, 5900X. Any one of those would be 60. So yeah, any one of those could, would work really well. So, and you could even go lower if you really wanted to. Um, you could do a 5600X. I, I mean, ideally 5800X 3D is just, Kind of a great pairing with most of them especially if you're on an amd platform and if amd advantage suddenly shows up on uh suddenly shows up on uh on desktop at some point in time you're kind of more hooked up i have a tendency to pair amd with amd i am liquid cooled i don't know why i'm just i'm having a good time guys we're building a cool pc and i like it when we build like cool pcs so this should be a fun one. I know a lot of people really like, I mean, I had a 5900X system forever, so. <sighs> okay, let's put the uh, CPU in now. I mean, the motherboard. I didn't, I didn't spike my drink. I'm just having fun, guys, hanging out with you guys. That's what we want, right? Okay, here we go. This board is gonna look really good inside of this case. Zoom it out a little bit. So far, so good. That's all I gotta say.
Okay, what do I need? Oh, this was a good one. Definitely, yeah, definitely feeling that music. We gotta have some fun, right? Uh, so we we have done like this is always that question that comes up a ton in our testing, and in our testing, because of the speed in which air moves, intake, intake, exhaust, exhaust, uh, intake because you bring in cold air from the top. Uh, ideally, you could do push pull here, which would actually work really really well with this case, uh, and then uh, because you you could actually get the 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 pull from the. Um, things, but yeah, intake, intake for the GPU and then exhaust out of the side. That's been our best temperatures. But to be honest, if you did exhaust here, in, uh, sorry, exhaust, sorry, intake here, intake at the bottom and exhaust, exhaust out of the top, like the difference in temperatures can be anywhere between three and five degrees. It's not like it's bad either way. It's pretty low, but ideal temperature, yes. I like to feed, the main reason I like to feed cold air to the CPU and the GPU. And your coldest air is going to be on the outside of your case. So hopefully that answers that question. Okay, that, I'm not using that screw. The screw gives me too much. I don't want to strip. There we go. is like just I think that thing was a little bit weird that fitting okay we're getting this under control yeah they are interesting they're new They're brand new fans from Thermaltake. So they're not they are not what we typically see. We haven't seen what these look like. Um, and I really appreciate Thermaltake. Thermaltake Mike got me these like overnight so we could use these in the build. I saw them and I was like, I wanna try these and I think they're gonna look good. So I appreciate Thermaltake Mike for hooking us up so we could get these in the build ASAP. Okay. Okay, everything is in. Looks good. We now have all of our cables and our, I mean, all of our screws in. And the, and the motherboard is now into the build. It's usually a good sign. what we want. There we go. Grab these extra ones here. Okay, so there's all of our 011. Okay, now let's get our front panel connectors in. And then we can put in our bottom fans and get another mess kind of cable managed already. 
Okay, so we have this. I wonder if the best thing to do here is to actually, well, actually, I think we only have, these are controlled via USB. So in terms of RGB, all we have is this. I don't think we have more than this. So, yeah, I don't think we have more than this. So we'll go here. I wonder if the best thing to do is to do this actually. Okay, there's that. Front panel connectors. Here. HD audio here. Then we have two of these, but which one I can't use. They're right next to each other, okay. There we go. Okay, there's all our front panel connectors. This one will do like what we do here and then just kind of, let's go ahead and get it cable managed now because we're not gonna use it. I'm just getting these out, this controlled and out of the way. This bottom cable. We just don't want any 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 dangling cables. They're all nice and clean. There we go. Okay. Okay, so far, so good on this build. Okay, so now we can flip this over. Let's work on the, uh, we got, we just got, what we did is we went ahead and controlled. So I went ahead and just moved these bottom cables out so you can't see them. It's a USB 3.2 I can't use, so I just got it cable controlled. Now we can hook up all this stuff. So that's what I'm working on here. Again, and one thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that these stay where like at a good angle. I'm gonna just use a zip tie here just hold them. Oh, actually, let's do this. Let's have some fun with this. No, I'll, I'll leave it black. I'll leave it black. 
Got some green zip ties, but I don't know if they'd look good here. I, I, actually, I actually want these cables to almost blend in with everything else, so I don't want to have anything that calls them out. <clears throat> okay, and there we go. Now, let's put in our front panel connectors, which has like every front panel connector on the planet. Pretty much. Power switch. Hard drive reset goes underneath that. Hard drive. RGB, the only, I think this is the only RGB connection I need. I think the rest of it's actually pretty light. HD audio. Okay, we want some thin, just ones to keep these under control and hidden. Now we do have a USB that's gonna come through this too. There we go. There we go. Okay, now let's grab our USB cable. go. It's going to go through there too. Ugh. Okay. So we've now got that. Hey, do we need a stack when you building? No, you do not. I have a I have a nice like if you're gonna build on carpet, yes, may not be a bad idea. But if you're building on like a kitchen floor or something like that, you're not gonna have an issue whatsoever. Okay, let's go ahead and put our bottom fans in. Whoopsie. Okay. Okay, so bottom fan is now in. So we have six of the nine, of the ten fans. We're gonna put in one more up here at this up here real quick. We we'll have all of our fans installed. I mean, all of our excess fans. I'm glad you like it, lonely, lonely. We're getting there. Dementis, thank you for the prime sub. Five, and just, just as an FYI guys, you might be asking, well people, why are people subbing? There is an RTX 4080 up for grabs. 
uh, for the month of October, November. So if you're subscribed in the month of October, November, you are entered to win an RTX 4080, uh, care of the team here at Robitech. Uh, if you want to get in on that, all you got to use is your free Amazon Prime sub that comes over at twitch.tv slash Robitech. Uh, with your free Prime sub, then you're, uh, you get one entry. Now, if you subscribe at tier one, you get three entries. If you subscribe at tier two, you get um, uh, five entries. If you subscribe at tier three, you get 10 entries. And then every gifted sub you give, so if you want to do something nice for the community, um, you can just go and, uh, just go and uh, uh, drop uh, gifted subs, but also get extra entries towards winning. Jay the Gamer says audio in and out. Is that is other people having audio issues on my end? I haven't gotten any text saying that it's going in and out. You're gonna use a ratcheted screwdriver. Oh, it changes at the yeah. When I switch scenes, yes, it does. I did know that. So yeah, if you want to get inch, inch, entries and potentially walk away, and then every other gifted sub that you do, uh, every sub that you go goes towards that PC giveaway that we're trying to earn towards right now. for this. Man, you gotta be really careful with these screws. They're super soft. Okay, so those are in. Why did that come out? Solid, okay. Nothing I can really do to get that. I could do it up here. It should be on the inner ring. I don't know, I'll wait. I'll wait for that before I figure out where I'm gonna do that. Might be able to hide that cable with the other one. Okay. Okay, so that's all of our, that's a big chunk of our fans now. Getting there, boys and girls. Yeah, it's some fan power for sure. We only have all, the good thing is, is that most of the fans are in. Now we're kind of in the cable management section, which is uh, just gonna take a little bit of time and then we'll, uh, but we're actually uh, doing really good. We're getting there. Uh, the GPU is US, uh, US and Canada. I think it's US and Canada and uh, I think we, oh yeah, the GPU should be, uh, it's North America. It depends on the games. That's like a, 
You can't, there is no good answer because on uh, how many you can install, because it depends on what games. You can install like five bajillion copies of uh, Monkey Island if you wanted to, if you were only installing, you were like a huge fan of Monkey Island. Okay. Okay, let's get this in here. Uh, or you could do, with eight terabytes, you can install one half of a copy of Call of Duty. Right? Nice, congratulations, McCoopin. This PC actually has no home. There we go. It's just, right now, it's just something I'm building. One thirty nine at two fifty, guys. Don't forget, likes on YouTube are free. So if you want to head over to YouTube, hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Okay, let's get these controlled here. Ooh, okay, that's. Okay, so we can clean this up now. Hey, Astral, thank you very much for the resub. No, Noi, Noi Rix, Noi Rix. Thank you very much for the sub, Noi Rix. I wonder if I should do. No, that one. I guess I can do this. Let's run that one lower. Uh, intense games, heat doesn't rise in a PC case. The air moves too fast. Heat rises in a sedentary place, guys, but understand air is moving so fast through your PC, heat doesn't have a chance to rise. Yeah, I know, that's what everybody says. I think a lot of people are ready for the 7900X 3Ds. It's all good, Pig Radio, you're just hanging out. Sometimes just, just being in chat is supportive. Just being here is just as supportive. So I appreciate that. So thank you for just being here. Check the top cable for the on the RGB hub. Looks like it's a little bit tight, but I got it. Thank you very much for that. How you doing, Harbinger? A 280 EA, uh, EK is totally fine for a 13900K. As long, it's always this caveat, as long as you have a good airflow case and it gets a lot of air. You know, that's the big thing, right? Because the, the AIO is perfectly fine to do it, to manage it. 
But again, you just need to make sure that it's got enough airflow. That's really important. The, uh, I haven't, so the Lee and Lee ones, I haven't done a ton of testing on. We just got finished with our air cooler testing and I'd like to do the same thing that we just did with air coolers, the AIOs. Um, but I haven't done enough to give you a good solid answer for that. I wish I could, and I, but I don't wanna lie to you and tell you something that I just don't have data for. If that makes sense. Rather, you, you probably want me to be honest, right? Feels that's important, right? Okay, I'm gonna keep these bumping out and that's okay to have these bumping out because the cable thing will cover these, but. Okay, so this is our Other fans. Okay, we're just getting some small, we're doing some work, some minutia here. Getting some small cable management done and then all we have is like some. There we go. Okay, let's clean up some cables here. Most of this is gonna be hidden by the shield. Just wanna make sure that there's no weirdness. You saw him hook a. You saw him hook a. Uh, you saw him hook a guitar in. He can use that with like a DAC. It's actually not that hard. It's. Uh, I think it, it, some people are probably mystified by the world of PC audio, but I mean, it's it's actually not. It's not as it's not as scary as people sometimes think it it is. Okay, so we're gonna turn this one to one. That's to make. We're gonna turn this dip switch to one. No uplog. We have a uh, we have a 16 gauge uh, extension, so we don't have to worry about that. But I get the joke, and you are not wrong, my friend. Okay, so we're gonna put this, run this around. Okay. Now what I could do. This is gonna go right here. I actually think the better thing would be let's do this, because I think this is actually gonna be better. 
something better daisy chain here. We need to put this one back to one, okay. And then we'll do this. There we go. Okay, flip this over. Change this one to one. Now, essentially do that. Okay, that's to daisy chain the two adapters together. Run this down into this. Okay. Now let us put the Get these two set up. See you later, Andrew. Thank you for just tuning in even for a bit, man. I appreciate it. I'm getting this build. It'll take a little while, but it will come together. It's what everybody wants. Okay, now. These three are going to come up here. I just realized I need to run. Now we have all of our cables. Now we just need one more, which is this one, and then we'll have all of our cables for our thermal take thing. There we go. Okay, now we have all of our cables and then the other ones will come from the top and those won't matter as much because they can be at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do here is shove this stuff underneath. Okay, now we can clean this up. That'll take care of this. You guys gotta see it pretty. Takes a little bit of work, but when it's done, it looks really good. The best thing to do is just so that way, when you have this, it looks nice and clean and straightforward. And there you go.
making these shorter so when you count them, they're easier to count in the total count. Okay, now to get these to bend into a high caliber group here, similar to the other ones. Now we have a lot of power cables still, so I'm gonna probably run these pretty far north. Main reason being is that like, I'm okay with these being kind of up and out of the way. These are all gonna be hidden by These are all going to be hidden by the uh, the cable cover, so you won't see it, which is the whole point, right? We should still have plenty of room to make our cables look nice when it's all said and done. You want to make sure you have a clean looking build. You miss beige colored PCs, really? Well, it's been a while since I've heard somebody say that. Who else misses beige colored PCs? The turbo button, oh man. I love it, nostalgia here. Did anybody go as a beige colored PC for, uh, for Halloween? That'd be pretty epic. Okay, boys and girls, another series of cables controlled here. Get a cable shoot off into the suns, into the wild blue yonder. Off we go into the wild blue yonder, flying high into the sky. Down we go, shouting our blades from under. Adam boys. Okay, there we go. Okay, now that's power. This one we're gonna get rid of the. We're gonna control these couple USBs here. Happy Halloween to everybody. Yes, I hope everybody, did everybody have a good Halloween? Did anybody do something like go to a Halloween party or anything like that? Good Halloween celebration. We destroyed, which we destroyed. Who got, who still trick or treats as adults? DC and five gifted subs. Thank you very much, my friend, for the uh, gifted subs. Okay, that's all power, power. Okay, guys, look at that. Looks pretty clean, right? Probably put one in there just to keep that a little bit clean. Okay, let's do one more little one just to keep this little middle part clean and then we'll have it all. Are there Halloween sales? Is that a thing? I guess there are sales for everything in there. Okay. So there is all of our cabling. Now remember, when we get done, what we want is just it to look super clean. So this is actually what it'll look like when it's done, right? That's all you'll see, right? Is just the one thermal take box. And then the power supply will be here, but it's, again, that it's gonna look clean, but you wanna open it up and it still look clean too. 
Okay, let us work on our AIO, boys and girls. I'll tell you, we the long and kind of monotonous part of the build is now past. <clears throat> kind of only at the fun parts now. Ugh. Do, do. I forgot we have that big, we're still gonna have to use that big adapter. These. Now I need this bad boy. Okay. Those stay. That stays. That can stay. That can stay. Ooh, ooh, shoot. Right, where'd that go? I am looking for one thing I did not want to drop. Very bad thing to drop. Okay. Where's my phone? There it is. It fell. Ready to go. Shoot. That's kind of an important thing that fell. It rolled off. Shoot it. Trying to find the little, the screw for the, oh, I found it. It was like way hidden, wow, okay. That was hard. <clears throat> it was trying very hard not to be used, guys. But I found it, okay. Whew. Okay, here's what we need. Okay, so let's take our Capellix thing here. We are currently taking off the face plate here. There we go. Okay, let's grab.
go. There we go. Okay, Modern Warfare out is what we want. Okay, now it's gonna go like this. So get our crazy fans now. Last three fans, guys. Last three fans of the build. No, there will not be a 3080 price drop. Jensen is intentionally keeping the price where it's, uh, the 3080 will be about this price. You might see a slight one, but nothing major. Ooh. Woo. Woo. There we go. Okay, last fans, boys and girls. It's gonna go like that. Yeah, now would be a good time. Yeah, you're not really gonna get a much bigger price. Okay. I think, yeah, we have to wait for the, we have to wait for the, uh, we have to wait for the, uh, the answer to the light thing, the light problem, the fire stuff. One second, guys. All right, there we go. Okay, here we go. Let's get those. There we go. Now we can use the wow stick, guys. Now we can use the wow stick. Look at that. Looks good. I like I like painless installs of fans. They need stickers for the other side. I think, I feel like I need to make like stickers, like circle stickers for this. People need to learn that like, you have to be able to use fans both directions in builds, you know? Like I understand it as RGB, but.
Okay. Let's get these. Just need to get enough so we can easily get this through the hole but this this case has so much room it's like really okay not overly worried about it no okay got it okay Ugh. okay guys Woo -wee. we are getting there it has been a long process to get to this far, but it has started to come together. Miracles are starting to happen. Builds are starting to happen. Okay, here we go, side view. I wish the fans were white, but they're not. Okay. There we go. We have plenty of room for the, yeah, I don't have to worry about putting in the, the, um, I don't have to worry about putting in the, EPS cable right now. Yeah, games and tech, that's actually a pretty cool. I like that too, that you can switch the fans around. You know what, this might be, this, these ones, you, some ones you can actually, some of these, the thermal take fans, you can do that with. <clears throat> Doesn't thermal take have fans like that? It's the wow stick. Yes, we have a link to it. There it is right there. Blondie always on top of it. What I want is fans that you can do that to. And then also, also daisy chain. You know what I mean? You know, because then, oh, really? It 
Yeah, I love this. I mean, it, it's not the, it doesn't have the most torque, but for like minute or mundane, you know what I mean? Like small ones like this, like it's perfect. And it does such a good job of just getting the screws in and being done and yeah. What's the dad tax? Okay, now that is all done. We have the last fans in, the cables are down and ready. Now all we gotta do, boys and girls, all we gotta do is put, put this bad boy away, get this installed. And that's it, that's all we gotta do. It's so close to done. Okay, top down. There's already th the thermal face has been removed from this already, just as an FYI. go shoot Ugh, I hate I hate it when that happens oh I have this one Okay. Okay, now. There we go. And now we run this through and up. Ugh. Okay, now we can clean this. Okay, let's get this cleaned up. Just to make sure this looks nice and clean.
go. There we go, come on. Okay, that takes care of that. So now that's really clean and wired nicely. Looks good. Okay, let's flip this over. Guys, there's very little, we're almost to GPU time. We just gotta hook up these three fan cables. Which isn't actually that big of a deal. And then we've got one more kind of blocky thing to hook up, but Gonna hook these up. And then all of our fans are hooked up. So much cables here. But we're getting through it. And then all we have is our cable extensions and our power supply and our GPU. we get to turn it on. There we go. Okay, so now we just gotta get this one under control. Last little bit of the long cable here. go and what do you guys think so far how's the cable management you guys liking it you learning anything two oh four guys we're almost to the we're on the we're the the home stretch Okay. Shoot. Knew one more was gonna do that. Okay. Now let's get our Corsair thing hooked up here. A little fun with this. Make it look nice.
last front panel cable. Let's do a side view here. Just getting this last little bit here. go. Okay, that takes care of that little bunch. Now we can see where you place this thing. short. Yeah, just put it right here. That makes the most sense. all the power cables that I have to hook up later. Just want to get these hooked up. Screw that. Okay. Now, just to get this little bit cleaned up and then we actually have a fairly completed build. But after this, all we gotta do is Mick Wilshire Baggins, thank you very much. Riddick, another 10 gifted subs. Can we get to 1400 today? That would be awesome. We're only 20, 
Yeah, we're only like less than what, 20, we're 22 away. Then we could be at 1400 towards a PC giveaway. Okay, definitely for these builds, you gotta stack cables. Again, all the stuff, most of the stuff is gonna be hidden. You won't see it. So, because remember I was showing people when this is done, this will be sitting on top of it, right? So the only thing I'm gonna really be able to see or wanna be able to see are the thermal tape boxes, right? So that, all of this will be hidden. So that's all you should see. And then the power supply. So it'll look pretty, Pretty. Actually, like this, sorry. So that's all you'll see. Pretty light amount of cables. And then very little on this side, too. I don't I haven't used that case. They have to, I haven't used that particular case. So I don't have any thoughts. Okay. Okay guys, we are now to cable, we're on cable extensions. Most of the, now all the hard stuff is essentially done. So just have some fun with the cable extensions here. There you go. There we go. Okay, let's grab our PSU or EPS. We go. Okay. Now Guys, it's time for the fun part, which is GPU time. 
Because these, I don't use. <clears throat> those look great. Don't you guys think? Don't those look good? Those match perfectly. Okay, now, time for the 4090. The CFM on these is just shy of six. And they're 2.4 high uh, from the high static pressure standpoint. Okay, the Supreme 4090. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Here we go. It's a thick boy. Beautiful peel here. Wow, this has got a lot of peel. That is a lot of peel on this card. go. And this has got a lot of peel here. This thing does not come light doesn't come off easily at all. Still working on the peel, guys. Okay, <laughs> got part of it. Still peeling. Oh my gosh. Okay. Is there another peel there? There's another peel. There's like twice. Okay, finally got those peels. That, that peel is done. Okay, the back now. Ugh, a few moments later, there we go. Okay, wow, look at this thing. This also has a peel. Okay, finally, of all the peels off. How's that look?
But it fills out the case at least. Yes, it's big, but it fills out the case, which makes me happy. Okay, let's get this bad boy in fully. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now for the last part, our last little bit, and then we can put in our PSU. Last little bit that's left. Man. Come on, cables. There we go.
It's not going to. This is a 16 gauge pin for pin extension. This doesn't have the same issue. These won't catch fire. Okay guys, that is how the build will look. All we gotta do now is put in our PSU. Yeah, this is a 16 gauge uh, extension. So yeah, this, and, and the only two is it's not on a solder point like the ones that catch on fire. Okay guys, last little bit, and then we're done. Let's get our power cable power. I might have, I should have used something. I might switch actually. I think I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch power supplies guys and go to a 1000 amp instead. It's a smaller PSU. Something a little bit more. Something a little bit smaller. Okay, what do I need? I need Molex, which doesn't make me happy, but that is what it is. So I need one of these, two of these. So that takes care of this. CPU, two Molex, ew. Uh, I don't, I'm, I have ATX 3.0 power, uh, ATX, uh, yeah, 3.0 power supplies. The problem is, is that in order for me to use them, um, well, this actually does Molex to SATA. Uh, in order for me to use them, you need a special, I need a different kind of extension for my 4090, so that's why I'm not using it. This is three of these. Uh, LA Rams, it's it's not, it's actually not new. Uh, so it doesn't have that new PSU smell. Yeah, I know, sorry, LA Rams. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the adapter. Okay, so this should take care of all my little issues and I'm just gonna check fit here. Okay, now we just finish it out. All that's left is the end of the build. It's almost done. Click, click, boom.
Oopsie. Rolex. Darn you. Sada. Okay. Okay. Now, it has a lot. It's a big case. But this is a smaller PSU too, to be transparent. Okay. Okay. Now, let's get the rest of this hooked up. I'm glad you like it, Kenneth. How are we doing on likes on YouTube? I'm guessing that we're done, but maybe not. We gotta be close. Oh, 232. Come on, guys, let's head over. Likes are free. We're at the very end of the build. Just need the last few likes. There we go. I'm glad you like it. Okay, let's get around this one.
Okay, last few cables. SATA. A lot of room down here for these. Happy Halloween to you too. We're almost done, guys. There's a lot of cables to manage in this build, but we're at the end of it. There we go. Okay, now all we have left is our two wacky Molex connections. And then just gonna plug in our, P our PSU thing. I really hate these connectors. Come on, Molex. Come on, Molex. Literally the worst cable connection. Is it not going in? Why can you not use SATA? Okay, no. Why can you not use SATA? Please, Thermal Take, use SATA. one just to see if it works a little bit better. Oh, oh shoot, like it's literally pushing the cable. I really hate Molex. Oh my gosh, guys. Well, except for I don't have a choice with this, these fans. Oh, shoot. Come on. It's like, see, this, this, like, one cable is not even... It's like being pushed out. It's like, why is that one... Oh, I got it. Yay! We actually got it, guys. Okay. That was annoying.
Okay, last cable. But this one just goes in easily like it's supposed to. Okay, there it is. Now, just to make it look pretty, There we go. Thank you very much, co-founded for the and booty chatter for the bits. Okay. Looks clean. It's very clean. Okay. Just make sure the front looks good. Uh, let's put the back on, we can. You guys ready for the back? There we go. Oh, shoot. Close it a little too early. No, actually, it looks okay. Okay, we're good. Never mind. It was fine. Okay. Now let's go through our sponsor real quick. And then we'll uh, do our sponsor and then we'll turn it on. There we go. I'll go ahead and put the one glass on. So we've got this one right here. I, don't, I can't tell if it's... 
There is a little peel on the inside, okay. There you guys, so you guys can see. There we go. Okay, so let's run through our, oh guys, we emptied an entire tray of, ca of cable ties. We, we went through an entire one. I mean, I finally went through a bag, or one of the bags. That bag's lasted a while. Okay, let's lock it. We'll grab our stuff and then we'll, man, there was a lot of cable ties that were killed doing this build. There we go. Okay, let's do our giveaway stuff, I mean our uh, sponsor stuff real quick and then we will drive and turn this on and all that stuff. It's a little fun, it's a little part that we always gotta do. Not all the time, but we haven't done enough streaming this, this month, so I had to kinda do a lot of sponsored segments at the end of the month. They actually have, it does, it looks like it does need a sag bracket. I actually was about to say, I didn't think, I didn't think they needed them, but that one looks like it does. I'll get that installed here in a sec. It does seem like this is sagging, right? Yeah. I shall fix that real quick. We're waiting for this. Obviously, uh, MSI was prepared for this. Okay, we're gonna fix the sag here real quick.
There we go. There we go. There we go. Now I can put that back in. Okay, now let's go through our sponsor stuff real quick. Yeah, much better, right? We can fix it, we can fix it. Okay, well, you get finished with a amazing build like this. And you're like, hey, well, now I need to get a copy of Windows, uh, you know, cause I don't wanna, you know, I get, I have a really, really custom looking PC, but I don't want to have that like activate windows, I, you know, thing, you know, I want it to look, I want it to look clean on the inside. Well, how much does a copy of windows cost? Well, because we're using a, an I, a, a 11th gen or sorry, a 13th gen, we should probably get a windows 11. So take a look at windows 11, regularly $199 and uh, 22 cents if you were going to pick up a product key. But if you use VIP slash CDKDeals.com, uh, which we, we've had thousands of people use, you can pick it up, pick it up for $31.60. But if you use the, to the code right now and use code RBCK at checkout, what was $31.60 is now only uh, $22.12. Well, you're like, oh, cool, Roby. Well, that's, that's pretty good for, uh, that's pretty good for Windows. Well, what about Microsoft 365 or formerly Office. So if we take a look here at Office, here's Office 2019, or better yet, there's Office 2021. So there's 2021, regularly $185. Uh, but if you hit the same thing, buy now, $66.78. But if you use the code RBCK at checkout, hit apply, what was $66.78 is now only $46.75, selling you $20. So down from almost $200, way down to what is essentially $46 and 70 some cents. So RBCK, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, you can get Windows 10 if you wanted to do that, it's rock, but it's a little bit harder to do the upgrade that way uh, versus a clean install. So if you want to do a clean install, but still 22 bucks for Windows is a pretty dang good deal. Um, so if uh, you, again, if you want to check that out, uh, VIP slash uh, deals.com. We've literally had thousands and thousands of people who've use them for product keys. They have great customer service. If you have any questions, just talk to uh, somebody in the channel because I know a lot of people have done it. Yeah, so yeah, there it is. That's 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 our sponsor for that. Uh, the other thing too I like to tell everybody about is uh, robytech.com and at robytechdeals on Twitter, especially if, especially if you are um, right now in the, in the search for PC components um, or anything like that. Uh, you should uh, definitely follow at Roby Tech Deals on Twitter. Uh, you know, it's like, def like our guy Tom is always scouring the internet for the latest deals for PS5s. You know, there again, mice, laptops, monitors, you name it. He's finding it. He also finds GPU availability. Literally thousands of people who've used this to help save them money and find uh, components when available. And he'll even sometimes do requests based on like, hey, I'm trying to find this monitor or whatever it was. So at Roby Tech Deals on Twitter. Uh, the other thing too is don't forget to check out robytech.com. This is where we have stuff like if you want to have me build a PC like this awesome one we just did, or if uh, you like this build and you're like, oh, Roby, I'd love to build this exact same PC. Well, here's all the components right here that we used. Um, so you can always find a list of all of our builds here as well. And then lastly, uh, you also have uh, our uh, deals that he finds for the stream. So if we click on the stream here, let's see what deals Tom has found for us today. So. 80 plus gold certified MSI MPG A1000G power supply. Uh, this is 160 bucks uh, from, and this is a uh, 80 plus gold. So that's a good deal on a, on a thousand watt power supply. Asus Tough 15.6 is FHD 144, it's a gaming laptop. Uh, we have used this laptop, this is my son's laptop. 
Uh, this is a powerhouse. You can go check out our review of it. You can just upgrade your you know, the, the NVMe SSD and the um, RAM is upgradable uh, for very inexpensively. You can get a you know basically 1.5 terabytes of storage and twice a uh, pretty big leap in performance. Uh, on sale right now, $599.99. Uh, 670p, one terabyte NVMe SSD. Uh, if you're looking to install COD, 70 bucks. Uh, Radeon 6600, uh, probably one of the best budget GPUs you can get. Uh, on sale right now for $199.99. Wow, that's a heck of a deal. Uh, the Tough Gaming A15, this is a 15.6 inch uh, Ryzen 7 with a RTX 3050 Ti uh, for 100 bucks more, which is a pretty actually big leap between the performance between these two. So this is actually a really good deal. And if you wanted to throw 32 gigs into either one of those, I bet you Tom's like, hey, he caught it. You could throw uh, this 32 gig kick for 100 bucks, basically, uh, basically really improve your performance on either one of those laptops. So. Uh, deals that are crazy uh, are uh, these bottom three, right? well, these two right here are probably the key ones. So oh, read below. Oh, there it is. And then 3050 laptop price with RAM and M.2 upgrade is 760 before taxes. And then you can get that 3050 Ti laptop with an M.2 for $860. And those are actually heck of good uh, 1080p gaming laptops. If you want to go see their stats, uh, there's a review live over at YouTube, uh, robytech.com. Uh, slash, uh, I mean, youtube.com slash robytech, and you guys can check out how well this is. But really good uh, deals, Tom. Good job. Good job on finding those deals. Okay. That's it for deals. That's it for our sponsor. It's time, to, uh, it's time to turn this bad boy on. What do you guys say? I think you guys are ready, right? Okay, let me put this back over here. And before we do that, let's go ahead and check out our count for our stuff. Those are good, I mean, especially for laptops. And if you're looking for good Christmas gifts and you want to get, you know, your kid or your husband or your boyfriend a good gaming laptop that doesn't break the bank, uh, those are actually really good options right there. And one I even own uh, still. I bought it, I like loved it enough, I bought it for my son, so. Okay, plug this stuff in. There we go. There we go. There we go, and there we go. Okay, I see link lights. That's always a good sign when you plug in something and it's already link lighting. Ooh. Okay. Okay, let's count. How is our, uh, let's see how our, uh, how many, how many, how many zip ties die today? And if it's odd or even, because I want to get that out of the way. So top down here. Here we go. First ones and the YouTube goal reach. That's awesome. We are going to fire it up. Don't worry. We'll get there. Just going to finish out this little bit of stuff. One, two, three, four, five. There's five, right? One, two, okay, five. One, two, three, four, five. There's 10. One, two, three, four, five. There's 15. One, two, three, four, five. There's 20. One, two, three, four, five. There's 25. One, two, three, four, five. There's 30. One, two, three, four, five. There's 35. One, two, three, four, five. There's 40. One, two, three, four, Five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 48. 48, guys. It is even. 48. It is today. So there it is. There's five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, man. 30, 35, 40, 45, 48. 48, guys. Yeah, I know, it, I saw that, it'll charge now. 48 guys, 48. I think I'm gonna have to switch out the battery. I think that battery is just, I think we might put a better battery in there. 48 zip ties died today in the making of this build. Okay, now quick, quick, pr quick prediction. We'll get that up real quick. Will it post while I am setting up um, 
mood mode, will it post is the question. There we go. Will it post is the question. I don't know if I think this one has one on the inside. It does, okay. There it is, guys, ready for the will it post. Completely ready to be turned on. Let's turn on mood mode while you guys are getting the prediction done. Okay, here we go. Waiting for the lights to go off. One is off. Try this again. One more. One more, come on, baby. One more light. There we go. Okay, mood mode engaged. Prediction done. Here we go. Does it post? Oh, push the right button. <gasps> there it is. Whoa. Definitely needs colors. Wow, those fans are bright. Definitely gonna have to make that Modern Warfare white for sure. There it is, let's go to side camera, you guys get a good view of it. There it is with all of its lit glory. Yeah, it's a lot of RBG, RG, RBG, RGB. There it is, guys. By the way, it does post. It's green and white. The sticks are green and white. Oh, why is it not? Oh, it's not showing up on the post. It is posting, though. So it has posted. It's actually in Windows right now. Don't know why it's not showing up on that screen, but we'll extend here in a second. Okay, let's get the RGB fixed. Because that is the first thing we gotta do is get this the RGB fixed. Because we need it to look good, right? Okay, let's pop this in. So we've got all of the graphics and stuff already. Well, it went red. I wonder why it went red. That was weird. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and open up IQ.
Okay, so it's updating our IQ. Okay, let's go to lighting. Okay, well, let's change this. Static. That looks way better. Okay, so there we got, we got white there. Okay, let's see what we can do here with this. Okay, so it's got the fans. I have to like literally drag this? What is, hold on, let me see if I can get this so you guys can see this. Why is this not, why can I not get my, not giving me a second screen? You have to like drag all these things, it's weird, okay. I think all, yeah, every fan has all fans, okay. So it is seeing them. I'm just dragging all the fans in right now. Okay, lighting, save, okay, okay, here we go. Okay, let's do, this is showing them. Okay, so let's select all. Now let's just make them green for now. Okay, uh, oh, static, hold on. No, not stack, static, okay, green. Apply. That didn't do it. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out how this works. They, go, they didn't go green. Okay, did they all go off? Okay, so they did. Okay, so this is controlling it. Static. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how this is supposed to. Oh, select all. Oh man, oh, you really have to, what? Oh wow, okay. You have to like select every single. Okay, so that one went all green. Okay, so should we, let's just, for the sake of this, just select all green. Wow, this is gonna take forever. You, But you do have a lot of individual control of this stuff. So you can like change like every single bit of it to figure out like a pattern, but for now. Okay, so now it's starting to go all green. Wow, this is like crazy. It's like, it's like minute, but it's like, it doesn't have a way to just be like, hey, I just want all these to be static. the white on the Supreme.
There you go. That's all gray. That's all green. What do you guys think of that? Is green too much? Oh, there's one fan that's not green. This one fan that's like acting funky. And there's a couple, like you can see, like some of the lights, I didn't get all green. They're not all the same color. Yeah, I missed, I missed, I actually missed a fan. And they're, they're not all green. I'll get them though. That's funny, I completely missed a fan, the first fan. There you go, now it's all green. I feel like if you wanna probably do green and white, you know what I mean? I think you're probably gonna want like a white one. Yeah, I like the green, like having a little bit of white there. Okay, that's not that one. I want this one to go back to green. White. See that, you get like a little bit more of a white and green color there. Yeah, you could spell like Modern Warfare too. That's right, you could. But I think like the, the differences in colors is nice, right? I think that one needs to be white. And I think we just do white and white. I think it'll look better. Find out where this one is, okay. Yeah, that's the top one, okay. Okay, that's green, that one I wanna keep green. That's that bottom one. That's that one, okay. There we go. I think that looks good. I 
I guess it's better than, yeah. I'm working on the RAM. Yeah, that's on MSI Mystic Light. That's, it's MSI is being funky. Well, that actually wasn't that bad. like stuck I wanted to like get rid of this like okay well apparently it's not going to let me do This will I want it to like not use this. Mystic Light, how do I get how do I make you not control? There we go. What do you guys think of that? So there's your there's your whole modern warfare build. Oh, hello. My screen went. Oh, the whole thing disappeared. Okay. Hold on one sec, guys. What do you guys think? You like that look? Well, there you go. Okay. I don't know why. Okay, let's, uh, and here it is from a wider angle, so you guys can like see the whole thing. There's like the whole thing all lit up and looking good. I like the, oh, you like the green, you like the white in the middle? Yeah, I'm trying to, okay, let me, I think I know how to fix that, hold on. It's actually set that way. I think the way that, here, let me do this. Now, let me do this. Now if I open IQ. Okay, let me reboot. And hopefully it'll do it. Yeah, I think you're white. I think you want to do white with green in the middle because it's like, Wow, that RGB is terrible. I think you want to do white with green in the middle because that's how the Modern Warfare is in it, right? Yeah, it's like the RGB just went, whoa!
Oh, the ram went off. Dang it. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so that's how you fix it. There you go. I think you want to do white, green. We can check temps here in a sec. Yep, you guys want to see that, I know. Yeah, there's a lot to play with with these to kind of figure it out, but that'll work for now. Let's go ahead and check our temps. I don't know why the thing is being funky when it comes to, I'm not seeing, why you guys aren't seeing the second screen. This is being weird. I don't think I left anything or plugged something, did I? But like for some reason, I'm not getting the second screen. It's worked all the way to this point, and then all of a sudden. Showed up briefly. Oh wait, no, it was on was it on earlier? I don't know. Let me check. Let me just check to see if it works on the laptop real quick. Because I want to show temps, but it's being funky. gonna see if it's an issue with the screen or or the card no it's definitely not this the card shut up there not getting a second I the the the, eight, the HDMI port on this card is not working for some reason so I don't know if it's just it's not getting a good enough connection or what okay we can check temps real quick though display ports not coming through either Shut it down and then have it come back up. Oh, wow, okay, it showed up that time. Okay, so it's there now. Things seem to be struggling with like second monitors. Okay, we do have, it's now working, okay. Uh, let's I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab Cinebench real quick and then we'll uh, we'll check temps but you guys can see this now and then we'll uh, we'll go from there now do we have oh
Okay, fan speed. We're gonna put it on performance just to make sure. Because we'll wanna see what the temps are. Okay, let's get, let's get uh, A to 64, just so you guys can see the temps. Okay. There you go. Okay. Let's go ahead and copy. Okay, CPU package, let's open Cinebench. Oh, let me move this down. That is running warm. Oh, you guys, can you guys see that? There's a thermal throttle right there. And there it is, 100. Yeah, we're seeing thermal throttling on this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to do, I think you're gonna need the static pressure of the fans on this one, even though it does exhaust. Or the fans just aren't doing it, but yeah, this thing is not, I mean, I this it should not be this bad. This is a, this is, we're having a, oh, this could be, actually, this could be, hold on. This could also be a, uh, this might need the washer mod. I need to look at the, I should look at the cooling. It shouldn't be that warm. Hold on one sec, guys. I'm gonna shut this down. We're gonna look at the cooling. I bet you this is a washer mod problem. Where is my, there it is. I mean, it runs warm, but it's not supposed to run that warm. That's really warm. That usually means that there's a washer problem, which is Z690 thing. Okay, let's take a look. 
Let's see what our pattern is on our, on our cooler. Cause that's too warm. Which is why we test these. We'll do giveaways real quick, guys, because that way we can let people go who want to go. I'm going to bring it up now. Okay, so we have two $25 New Age gift cards that are up for grabs. Exclamation point New Egg now. Starting that giveaway right now. And we're gonna fix, we're gonna take a look at the plate for this. Ugh. Oopsie. Okay. Look at our, oh, I forgot our battery's dead. Okay. Okay, let us see what our cold plate looks like. I'm guessing it's not right. Yeah, see, we've got some of it not covered. It actually seems okay. We only have a little bit that wasn't touched. So that actually seems okay. Let's go ahead and apply the mod anyway. I have them right here, so it's fine. Oh no, we unlocked uh, we uh, we unlocked one at a hype train. We got to level six. Blondie.
Oh, that's not in. And the other one. Oh, shoot. Okay, let's clean up our stuff. There we go. Okay, and our winners are Tio Lee Iliev and Bast Biasinde Bistindefo. I don't know how to say that name because it's not a real name. Or if it is, I don't know how to say it. All right, let's get this back on. little post build surgery
There we go. Okay, a little post-build surgery done. Let's check temps again. Let's get our sag bracket reinstalled. Okay. <clears throat> and our cover is over there. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ugh. Man, why is this not showing up on the second screen? This thing is like struggling with the second screen. Okay, hold on one sec. It's like only wants to show on one screen at a time. Okay, setting them to performance. Oh, they weren't even all set. They're not going to performance. They're slowing down. Oh, that's why. Okay, hold on, that helps. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now all of our fans are basically at the right height. I'm gonna see if I can get this to show up on the screen so you guys can see it again. This is being stupid. 
What was that? Oh. That was a weird sound to come out of your GPU. I'm gonna restart this PC. Oh, I know why. It's because I have to stop Mystic Light. There he goes, hold on. I'm just disconnecting the, the display port. Okay, I figured out how to get the fans to do what they were supposed to do too. They were not on performance. Oh, it's not catching on fire, guys. Okay, you guys should be able to see it now. Okay, I'll disable Mystic Light. Okay. First thing we gotta do is this, then the fan, the RGB lights, the RGB will come back. There it is, okay. Let's bring this up. So the, the fan curves, and I'll show you this, you can't run PWM if you want it to be at performance. Okay, so you go to my PC, then you go to fan speed, and then you have to turn off PWM and select performance. There we go, now the fans are where they should be. Okay, let's run. Hit a 64. They're actually really quiet for being max. Wow, that's blowing a lot of air. Okay, making sure you guys can see that. Okay, let's bring up Cinebench. Yeah, so that's that's literally 10 degrees cooler just starting. Just by doing the washer mod and fixing the fan curve. That's much better in terms of temps. Well, the 10 fans, the 10 fans are what, uh, the 10 fans are just simulating what you would do when to load. I mean, you shouldn't be running, you shouldn't be running simulated C CPU benches without your fans maxed. I don't, again, at gaming, this will be in the 70s, but when you're talking about, when you're talking about running, that, that's how you should be running it is with fans at max. That's how you're gonna know your core temps. If you're running, like the thing is, is that with AMD, like the one thing you definitely need to make sure you do that because you're gonna be losing, you're gonna be losing performance. It's still getting up there though. It's like climbing 96. It's still warm. I mean, don't get me wrong. No, not all the fans are blowing in. It's pulling in cold air from the top and cold air from the bottom.
Yeah, I can install. I mean, I can actually see the wattage. It's actually in the app here. Check this out. I don't know if this is accurate, though. It's uh, 300, 296 watts, 324 watts. Now it's not, I mean, I don't know how accurate this is. I could install, there it's 385 watts. Yeah, that's a lot of wattage. And some of that is gonna be, like some of that, I'm pretty sure you could get the same performance with less. I would undervolt this for sure. And basically we could still get the same performance, but you you need to undervolt this chip. I'm, I'm pretty sure that we'd probably do some stuff to the, disable some stuff in the board too. But uh, what's our temps at? It has thermal throttled. Yeah, we're actually seeing thermal throttling now. Yeah, you're seeing it basically hit eight in the hundreds now. Yeah, this would need this one needs to be undervolted. <clears throat> well, let's fix that. Needs to run for okay. So what was our score? Stop. So our score was. Thirty-eight nine forty-eight. Thirty-eight nine forty-eight. We're gonna save this on the desktop. Um, it's a Cinebench. Save. Okay. Let's download. Okay, let's restart. I really wish the second thing would run. I don't like, there's something wrong. Like, I don't know if the, like why, but this is not, it's not able to run two displays at the same time. That's weird. The GPU is being weird. No, I mean, pump speed, well, I mean, I should, I could set it on performance, but it's not going to make that big of a difference. I mean, as much as I, I like, the thing is, as much as I like pulling cold air, I could try reversing the fans. Um, main reason being is that then you actually get the, you actually get the ideal cooling form. It's one of those things that I suck about. I, 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 the ideal thing is to actually put the fans on the other side for this combination, this is for looks, but you'd actually want the fans on the other side so that for it's still pulling air but cooling. So I could flip these around, which would be, I mean, and again, we'd have to flip the side around too um, and do intake, exhaust, exhaust, two intakes. Um, main reason being is that then you get the cooling and that could potentially help. The one thing is, is like when you do things for looks, and it all depends on the fans, but because these are high static pressure fans and not airflow fans, they're not ideal for that top thing, like the unlike the Lee and Lees, which have higher PWM. So, um, so we could try that, even with exhaust on the side, 
No, that, that, they'd starve. I'd have to change both of those to make that work. No, I would change, I would keep these intake. I'd go exhaust, intake. I'd do switch those to intake, keep these intake. Exhaust, exhaust, which is the typical standard ones because it's just the fans are a limit, right? So just switching them around. I think it's as easy as just flipping it. So let's, let's, uh, let's try that first. That's, I mean, I'm fine with doing this. This is fun stuff for me, so let's do this. Okay, shut it down. And then we'll flip the fans around real quick. Shut this off. I haven't used these fans enough, so I think that's going to help too. And it's a pretty easy switch for these because of how they're wired up. The uh, side ones might take a little bit, but... Go to side view. Because I ideally want the cooling to be, I don't want the cooling to be bad. And I'm, if I can undervolt it afterwards, so then you could overclock it. But I mean, these fans are not performing the way that the other ones do. This in the corner, actually. Hold on. Mm -hmm. There we go. See if we can do this in a smart way. <clears throat> okay, let's go to top down. It's going to be interesting to see if I can do this being, uh, being without having to take the whole thing apart. That's the question. Let me start the music again. Oh, you guys can't see. One sec. Where's my zoom out?
does, I, I swear. We're just trying to get, see if we can get the temps under control. So I'm playing with it. We gotta do stuff for science. We're doing science right now. So we're doing science. Everybody loves science. One more, then we can put the rest of them in.
Should have just stuck them in first. That's the right thing to do. One fan went through the back. One cable went through the back, which is annoying. So we'll have to temp mount this to get there. Get our one cable back. Our one screw back. Okay, let's get our one screw back. Here it is. I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach it that way. Okay, let's fix this last screw. And then we can Okay. We'll try it after this just to see what we should still, I mean, even though we're starving some air, it's still a better use of the fans. Okay. We have a pretty massive, well, no, we have a pretty massive negative pressure situation inside this case right now, because we have a lot more exhaust than intake. I'm worried, actually, I'm gonna have to switch those. I just feel like you're gonna starve the, gonna starve the, uh, Exhaust of this CPU just too much. It needs air. I should also change the fan curves a little bit. Actually, I need to find the right fan curves. Because what I could do is slow down the exhaust on the side.
Okay, two more. On the right fan, I'll check. Got it, thank you. Okay, those are fixed. Okay. Oh, shoot. There we go. Okay, one more fan to fix.
Okay. Okay, fans are fixed. Okay. Okay. Let's see what that does. Let's get our GPU back in. Okay. Okay. Let's see how this does. Let's fix our sag bracket issue. But we've essentially reconfigured the thermal profile of this build entirely. Okay, sag brackets installed, builds reconfigured. Okay, let's do it again. Where's my glass? Okay. See how our temps are now. Ugh. 
More power, that's right. Well, hey, you guys want to know if I'm dedicated? It's what I do. This is the fun part, right? Can we get the temps under control? The answer is just maybe no. We shall try. Love this like with this new reseed. Do two. Okay, here we go. Okay, change the thermal profile completely. Let's see what this does. First thing it still doesn't do is go to the second screen. I'm not making that sound anymore. All right. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to reboot. So you guys can see it. Oh shoot. Okay, you guys should be able to see this now. Well, you guys will be able to when I bring it up. Testing, no, nothing, nothing yet, nothing crazy yet. We're fixed. We're trying to see if we can get the fans to what they need to do and get better temps. And then after this, we would undervolt. But we're gonna see if we can do it without undervolting first. Ooh, there goes all the fans. Let's turn that off. Okay, so let's do this again. Open up Ada. Okay, there's Ada. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this helped. Whoops. About the same, actually, it might be slightly worse. Oh, hold on, real quick. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna stop this one sec. 
Not that I'm worried about it, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on anyway. See what this does now. Because we're going to hit soak. That's what you're going to see happen here, right? It's going to hit soak. Hey, T.O. Lee, thank you very much for the sub, by the way. People always ask, it's like, which one's the best temps? But, you know, this is a good way to show you. It's only controlling, IQ is only controlling the pump, dude. You can't, you can't do it, you can't control the pump without IQ. And the fans are all controlled by Thermaltake. It's already in there. There's a two terabyte in there already. Oh, the giveaway. Oh yeah, that's a good call. I'll do that at the end. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, we'll do that. It looks like the pump actually helped. It's keeping it below. Because last time it was at 100. This PC is plus tax though, dude. It's a pretty sick PC. Well, it seems like we got temps back under control. I mean, 95 is bearable. I don't actually know if I needed to switch the fans. We're using uh, Noctua NT NTH1. I still think it might throttle. We're gonna have to undervolt. SFP, you mean Fistality? He's, he's, he's actually purchased a PC from me before. He has one of my builds. Well, maybe it won't thermal throttle. Maybe it's just gonna sit along the edge. It did throttle? 
I didn't see I, the thing is my screen's so tiny because it's not doing my son. Two point five, not the best. The max on a uh, the max on uh, TJ Max on a uh, Intel is a hundred. Oh yeah, you're right. There it is. That it's a throttle. What happened? Oh, did it go to sleep? No. Oh yeah, it did. It went to sleep. I've never known it to do that. I was like, wait, what happened? Well, the next step would be we could undervolt it, right? Because I mean, again, that's probably what's going to be end up being the best thing. It doesn't. It doesn't need this much voltage to. I want to see what the score is. Let's see what we got right now. We should have a higher score though. Thirty-eight nine twenty. No, it's about the same, so. All right, well, let's see if we can get, let's see if we can get what we can do with it. Okay, let's do this. It's actually really quiet for running at max. I'm actually really, these fans are really quiet for running at max speed. Oh, shut up. Oh, wow. This has actually got undervolt protection on it. I have to turn that off and uh, I have to turn that up. Oh, wow. So I've got volt, I've got undervolt protection on on the BIOS. Yeah, they're really quiet. Yeah, they're not very powerful. So we've, I've run Noctua as OG and these are quieter than that. These are really quiet at max. Because we have Noct, we run Noctua's here all the time. Okay, let's turn that on. B -b 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 advanced, overclock. Where do I find this? Cartridge, CPG2. This is the thing is I do not, I'm not very familiar with these, with this voltage setting. Digital all power, VCC sense, voltage mode, auto. Well, adaptive's pretty normal, but I'm assuming that <sighs> Oh shoot, what, what am I doing? There is over voltage protection.
The T30s are way better. Overcurrent, switching. see anything here that's like there's load line this is all over voltage anybody know how to turn uh, anybody know how to turn off uh, in uh, MSI had to turn on under voltage. found it okay okay honestly I should probably I wish I think does anybody know if MSI has a set Intel standard settings like a like how to disable it all you just, sometimes you just got to look for it Thanks, Org. I just want to turn all that crap off. That's usually the best thing. And then I can just, because that's usually like, they usually turn so much stuff off. I'm, I'll, I'll have my phone. Just DM me when you find it. Blondie, do I still need to do something? Can you text me? I don't know if Blondie's still here. Okay. Oh yeah, here we go. Still set to extreme. Okay, cool. We're good there. Okay, so I have the Seagate giveaway. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that here, and we'll do that here in just a few minutes. Okay, let's set these. I wonder if I. I wonder if I can save this profile because it feels like I keep. Okay, let's, we're inside, okay. Thanks, Org. What should I set with this? What should I, what do we do with this? Or just set it to, to boxed cooler?
Okay, so we gotta apply that. I think everything else is fine, hold on. Okay, we're gonna change one thing that org is recommending. in the BIOS real quick. I want, is this gonna have, is this gonna have amperage limitations though? Let's open thermal take. I am like, I'm happy that we're tuning a build. This is stuff that you guys usually don't see. Hey, my fan's set. Okay, good. Hey, that's good. The fan stayed. Well, let's just see. gonna see what this did. Where's Intel T? Because we'll be able to see it here. Actually, I don't even need this. This actually does a better job. Okay, we can actually, now we'll be able to see what this does. Okay, so we're getting 1.26 volts. See, that's what I was, so you're already, you are getting power limit throttling. Which is why I think that box cooler thing, so yeah, you're talking about runaway boost, but we are getting power limit throttling there which is why we're not hitting 5.5. Five. We did get more points though, 38.5, 39. So we're not hitting 5.5 five because of that tower cooler. And this is why, this is what we're doing. And look at the, the package temperature, look at how much lower the package temperature is though. And that's why, org. Uh, power usage is... about two yeah it's much lower right like half of the it's half of the the wattage but we are losing we are losing power yeah i mean like this isn't getting anywhere near what it was yeah 290 and again your package temperature is in the 80s like we're much lower in, in terms of temps but it's your your core voltage and stuff like that are lower I think we could keep 5.5 five though, Org. Yeah, I mean, you basically have it ended, but we're not getting full power. 
I think we can keep 5-5 with undervolting, though. You don't think we could? If we did like a point, point oh 0.04, I bet you we could keep it and then still... <laughs> or it's like, or it's like, some of us want to go to bed. Yeah, I mean, now we have no temp, now we have no temp issues, because package temp is going to, this is going to be fine. That's a nice spike there, but we are power limit throttling. Okay, well, it sounds like people are ready to be done. And I understand. So we are, let's do our, let's do our giveaway. We're going to do a two terabyte. I, I want to give a huge shout out to everybody for sticking around and doing a two. We're going to do a two terabyte uh, Seagate Fire Cuda 530 giveaway. You guys have uh, you guys have had us play with the watch me play with the toy. That was fun. I always like stuff like this because it's like tinkering. Yeah, not the best fans. <laughs> but yeah, we do have a one setting fix that essentially just made it so the temps are thing. But again, we're not getting the full power. It is pretty. The build is very pretty. Now we just need to let it sing. It's for nobody. It's just because. There it is. It looks so good. Oh yeah, it's it's fat. I mean, like the, the dude, these things are amazing CPUs. Okay, let's do that giveaway. This is for a two terabyte, two terabyte uh, uh, Seagate Fire Cuda 530. Okay, we'll do exclamation point Seagate. Exclamation point Seagate, starting right now. Exclamation point Seagate, two terabytes. Yeah, it's sitting at like 70. You guys stuck around for a long time. Thank you for doing that.
Okay, congratulations to Sky. Sky over at YouTube. You are the winner. Okay, guys, we, whoa. Why did my lights not go? My lights didn't change on Thermotake. Why did they change? Oh, why did it get not pretty? Okay, we're gonna do one more here, guys. Here it is. You wanna see it? Here it is. So we are not not power throttling. And package temp is in the low 80s right now. And that was a 39601. So guys, that is higher, 39601 here. You guys saw that 39601 is higher. Yeah, they're almost, almost a thousand points higher. And that's a 0.4 core, uh, 0.4 cold core voltage offset. I'm getting a higher Cinebench score and my package temps are now in the low 80s. I mean, in the high 80s. And it's full, yeah, we cooking, but the other thing too is like we are basically, I mean, it's climbing, but it's manageable. Thirty nine five six eight, like it is higher than what it was before. And if we go here, there it is, five five, five five, five five, four three, four three, four three. There we go. That's that see, that's good. Oh yeah, I know. It's still going to be hot. That's just the thing, right? It's like out of the, you just got to play with these things to find what you, what you want to get, right? But that feels really good. Now I'm just curious why the heck my lights didn't go to green and white. They're like, but like, that's the least of my problems comparatively now. And we could probably play with it more to find, but this is totally fine. I'd probably leave this alone. And this is about what we've seen on most 13900Ks. Is about, yeah, like a 0.04, and it just seems to be fine. Package temperature is gonna sit the, probably just in the low 90s the entire time. And you're getting full power. Uh, so what's this week look like? So we have a stream on Friday. We have a stream on Friday, so it's a good question. Uh, people are just asking, hey, what's, Roby, what's, what's, the, what's the stream situation for the week? Uh, so we have a stream on Friday. Um, and then uh, that is, I think that's kind of it. And the stream on, oh, and stream on Saturday. The stream on Friday is uh, part of ASUS's, um, ASUS is having a PC DIY day. And so we're gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be hosting that uh, with um, Carter PCs is gonna be there, um, which is interesting. So Carter PCs is gonna be there and JJ. So we're gonna be doing an event with him. Um, so that should be a lot of fun. Uh, and then Saturday, I think we're gonna do a budget AMD system. So a budget 7600X system um, and uh, go from there. So those are the plans for the rest of this week. Uh, I am in, I am in uh, you guys will see TikTok, Instagram updates. Uh, you guys will see TikTok and Instagram updates from uh, the AMD launch. So that's gonna be happening. That's gonna be happening uh, this week as well. Uh, so we're gonna be uh, at AMD, uh, hanging out in Vegas with uh, the team and Lisa and all those guys and uh, being a part of the launch. So I'll be there with like Jay's Two Cents, uh, uh, Gamers Nexus, um, Tech Tesseract, Nay, nay. So we're all going to be hanging out there and uh, doing that. So you guys will see a bunch of coverage from us on that. Uh, that's coming up on Thursday. And then Friday, like I said, is ASUS. So yeah, it should be cool uh, and it should be a lot of fun. 
Uh, are the LGA still bending CPUs considering moving to CPU contact from? So if you do the washer mod, we haven't seen that happen yet. Um, I can, uh, let me ask, uh, let me ask, uh, let me ask uh, Splave if he's still seeing it. I th I've heard that the Z790s are not having that problem, but I don't know. So yeah, guys, that's it. That's the build. We got it. We got, look, you guys, come on. what did we do today? We changed the entire thermal profile. We fixed, we washer modded it. We undervolted it. We, we, we basically uh, tuned this build. I think this is the longest we've ever spent on a stream basically tinkering with a build um, and uh, just playing with it. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed the extra long stream. I know there's a little bit less. I'm trying to spend more time with you guys um, to, to do some cool builds and to just spend some time doing stuff like this. So, and uh, yeah, 90% setting, 10% game. But I think you guys would agree the actual build came out fantastic, right? It, it don't, would you, would you, what do you guys think? Can we get some hype in the chat for the awesome build and uh, yeah, everything like that? So I think the build came out great. Huge shout out again to Seagate Gaming, CLX, MSI, and of course, uh, you guys for helping us make this so awesome. Uh, and Thermal Take for hooking us up with the fans. So, so many things came in there to get it done. But anyway, you guys have a great night. Thank you for almost three, you guys, at one point in time, we had over 500 people. 350 of you stuck around for what was essentially a marathon stream on a, you know, I guess the only thing scary was the temps on this Halloween. <laughs> so scary temps, that's what you stayed for. But anyway, guys, have a great night and we will see you guys on the next, uh, on the next stream. Bye guys.